I didn't invent this whole identity politics thing. I didn't invent the whole idea that if you're a member of a certain uh, sexual or racial or uh, group, that if anybody raises their eyebrow in your direction at the wrong time, you use all this fake outrage to try to ruin their lives. But now that it's here, now that it's part of our lives, I'm constantly astonished at how often the members of these groups, whether it's gay people or women or, or Asian people, how often they give black people a pass when they are under attack from them every day. Avneet had just gotten on the train with her friend. We were making Snapchats, because mm -hmm. that's what we always do. We were making Snapchats. She gave me a kiss on the cheek. What would happen next would result in a fractured spine and a fear so deep Avneet didn't want to appear on camera. I don't think I'm ever going to get on a train again. She is just 20 years old. After that kiss from her friend, a man, Avneet says, this man, started shouting homophobic slurs. And then this. But he was saying, do those gay things in front of me one more time and watch what happens. Avneet and her friend started to walk away to get away from the man who was now coming closer. But I felt him like right behind me. I felt a punch in my back. And it all happened so quick, so it was just a blur. But the attack was just beginning. I turned around and he already had his hand on my chest and he threw me back, which caused my head to hit the pole and my back hit the ground first, which fractured my spine. A friend got video of the man and police are hoping someone will recognize him and call the police. That's what Avneet wants too. I'm thinking of a video I saw uh, not too long ago about a, a minister who was just holding up an anti-gay sign at a gay pride parade. He, of course, was attacked, physically attacked. Please, sir, I want some more. During the same day, in, in different parades in different cities, there were two examples of groups of black people rampaging through the parade area, attacking gay people. I don't know when it's going to happen, but at some point, everybody's going to stop giving black people a pass for this ridiculous level of violence so wildly out of proportion. And when that day comes, nobody's going to care about making the black kids angry.